One of the women that I write about is Susanna Wesley, who was an amazing mom, really well known for how well she raised her kids. Very, very busy lady. And I was actually writing about her in the context of self-righteousness because it wasn't until very late in her life that she seemed to be struck anew by the fact that Jesus had died for her sins. And so I'm just going to talk a little bit from the book about uh, how we keep that in our focus. Living a busy Christian life without reliance on Christ is exhausting. It's not only the schedule, it's the mimicry. Christians are people who are meant to exhibit the fruit of the Spirit. Love, joy, peace, patience, goodness, gentleness, self-control. Portraying these characteristics out of a heart that is in reality constricted by over-reliance on rules, fitting in with the church crowd, or storing up treasure in heaven by our own accomplishments rather than through sacrifice and thanksgiving is not sustainable and certainly not joyful. At some points, cracks will show. Our inconsistency becomes obvious. We're run ragged with striving, and some people just give up. The Christian life without Christ is too hard. We've been looking at Jesus' invitation, take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and lowly in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. And it might be tempting, especially in times of tiredness, to think, another yoke, no thanks, I'm done with yokes. But what Jesus knew is that we're all yoked to something, to our obligations, our goals, our families, our past. It's only if we're yoked to Jesus that our burden is light, because he carries the weight of all our sins, our regrets, our anxieties. Our job in the yoke is not to bear the weight at all, but to walk alongside him, feeling the weight and the warmth of his side keeping in step. How often we strive to please God by maintaining a full diary of Christian activities, but it is with Christ that God is well pleased. If we are in Him, God is already pleased with us. He devolves on us all of Christ's perfection, accomplishment, and sonship, all of His inheritance, all the pleasure of a parent and a delightful and obedient child. How could we ever conceive of adding to God's pleasure in us when it is totally completed by His pleasure in Jesus? So we may rest knowing that God is perfectly pleased and contented in the children which the perfect Son purchased with His blood.